Imagine enjoying a delicious steak dinner, only to wake up hours later with severe allergic reactions. What if I told you this could be caused by a simple tick bite? Welcome to the mysterious world of alpha-gal syndrome. This might sound like a nightmare, but it's a reality for those with alpha-gal syndrome. This peculiar allergy, linked to tick bites, can cause severe reactions to red meat and other mammalian products. Over the next several minutes, we'll take a closer look at this syndrome, exploring what it is and how it develops. If you're finding this content valuable, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. It helps us create more informative videos like this one. Moving forward, we'll explore how those affected can manage it. From the role of tick bites in its onset to the latest research, we'll be delving into the science behind alpha-gal syndrome. So buckle up and prepare for a fascinating journey into the world of allergies and the human immune system. So let's begin our journey into the world of alpha-gal syndrome. Alpha-gal syndrome, or AGS, is an allergy with a unique cause. But what exactly is it? AGS is an allergic reaction to a carbohydrate molecule called galactose alpha-1,3 galactose, better known as alpha-gal. This molecule is found in the meat of mammals, excluding humans, apes, and old-world monkeys. The plot twist here is that this molecule is introduced into our bodies through the bite of a tick, most commonly the lone star tick in the United States. Once the tick bites, it injects alpha-gal into our bloodstream. Some people's immune systems don't take kindly to this foreign substance, triggering a robust immune response. This response leads to the production of antibodies that specifically target alpha-gal. Now here's where it gets interesting. When someone with AGS consumes red meat, their body recognizes the alpha-gal in the meat. The antibodies spring into action, launching an immune attack that results in allergic symptoms. The symptoms of AGS are as varied as they are uncomfortable. They range from mild, such as a rash or hives, to severe, like stomach pain and even anaphylaxis, a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. These symptoms typically don't appear immediately after eating red meat, but can surface anywhere between three to six hours later. In simple terms, it's your body's overreaction to a foreign substance introduced by a tick bite. It's your immune system going into overdrive, causing a range of allergic symptoms when you consume red meat. In the world of medical science, the discovery of alpha-gal syndrome, or AGS, stands as a fascinating story. This unique allergy was first identified in the early 2000s by a dedicated researcher named Dr. Thomas Platts Mills. He and his team stumbled upon it while investigating why some cancer patients were having allergic reactions to a drug called cetuximab. It turned out that these patients were reacting to the alpha-gal molecule in the drug, a carbohydrate found in red meat. This was the first time a carbohydrate, rather than a protein, was identified as the cause of a food allergy, challenging the conventional understanding of allergies. Dr. Platts Mills himself became a subject of his research when he developed the allergy after being bitten by ticks. This personal experience offered him an intimate understanding of the condition, which he used to further his research and raise awareness about AGS. As per current estimates, thousands of people worldwide are affected by AGS, but the exact number is still unknown. This is mainly due to underdiagnosis as the condition's symptoms can be mistaken for other food allergies or intolerances. Moreover, the delayed onset of symptoms, often several hours after consuming red meat, makes it even more challenging to identify the cause. The discovery of AGS has opened up a new frontier in our understanding of allergies and immune responses. It has taught us that our interactions with the environment, specifically with creatures as small as ticks, can have significant impacts on our health. As research continues, we can only hope to unravel more about this intriguing condition, improving diagnosis and potentially finding a cure. This is the story of the discovery of alpha-gal syndrome, a reminder of the endless mysteries and marvels of medical science. The process of how AGS develops is fascinating and still under investigation. Here's what we know so far. The journey begins, interestingly enough, with a tick bite. When a tick bites, it injects its saliva into the host's bloodstream. This saliva isn't just an anesthetic to numb the bite, it's a cocktail of proteins and other molecules, including one named alpha-gal. This molecule, 
alpha-gal, is a carbohydrate found in the cells of many mammals, but not in humans. When a tick that has previously fed on a mammal, then bites a human, it introduces this foreign molecule into the human body. And this is where the immune system steps into the picture. Our immune system is designed to protect us. It identifies harmful substances and creates antibodies to fight them off. When alpha-gal enters the body, the immune system doesn't recognize it and perceives it as a threat. So, it starts producing antibodies against alpha-gal, treating it like a harmful invader. Here's the twist. Alpha-gal is also present in red meat. So when a person with AGS eats red meat, the immune system recognizes the alpha-gal in the meat as the same invader it encountered during the tick bite. This recognition triggers an immune response, leading to an allergic reaction. The symptoms don't appear right away though. The immune response to food allergens typically occurs within minutes to a couple of hours. But with AGS, the reactions can take anywhere from 3 to 6 hours to manifest. This delay is due to the fact that alpha-gal is a carbohydrate, not a protein. Proteins are quickly absorbed in the stomach, but carbohydrates take longer to digest, causing the delayed reaction. So the next time you eat red meat, your body launches an immune attack, causing allergic symptoms. This is how a simple tick bite can lead to a life-altering condition like alpha-gal syndrome. An intriguing, albeit concerning, reminder of the complexities of our immune system and our interconnectedness with the world around us. Living with AGS can be challenging, but it's not impossible. The first step to managing this condition is recognizing the symptoms. These typically appear three to six hours after consuming red meat and can include itching, hives, stomach cramps, and in severe cases, anaphylaxis. But here's the tricky part. Diagnosing AGS isn't always straightforward. This is because awareness among healthcare providers is still growing and misdiagnosis is quite common. The good news is that a simple blood test checking for alpha-gal-specific IgE antibodies can confirm the presence of this syndrome. Living with AGS means making some substantial lifestyle adjustments. It involves constantly reading food labels and being vigilant about your diet. Red meat and other mammalian products which contain the alpha-gal molecule need to be avoided. This might seem daunting at first, but with time and practice, it becomes second nature. Now, while there isn't a cure for AGS, there are ways to manage it effectively. Antihistamines can help control mild symptoms, while severe reactions may require an epinephrine auto-injector. But prevention, as they say, is better than cure. One of the best ways to prevent AGS is by avoiding tick bites. Protective clothing, insect repellent, and regular tick checks after spending time outdoors can go a long way in keeping you safe. If you suspect you're living with AGS, don't hesitate to consult with an allergist. They can guide you on how to manage this condition and lead a healthy life. Preventing tick bites is crucial, and if you suspect you have AGS, consult with an allergist. Alpha-gal syndrome is a fascinating yet concerning condition that's teaching us more about the complexities of our immune system. It's a stark reminder of the unexpected ways our environment can impact our health and how a simple tick bite might trigger an allergy to red meat and other mammalian products. If you're enjoying this video and want to stay updated on intriguing health topics, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support means a lot to us. We've explored how the Lone Star Tick's saliva, carrying the alpha-gal molecule, can set off an immune response. We've learned about the delayed onset of symptoms, the challenges of diagnosis, and the geographic prevalence of this condition. We've also touched on the ongoing research, fueled by a multi-million dollar grant that aims to unravel the mysteries of AGS further. Living with AGS is undoubtedly challenging, but with increased awareness and effective management, it doesn't have to limit your life. Vigilance in preventing tick bites is key. Stay informed, stay safe, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing health topics.